You finally decided to attend your very first convention. We are very excited for you guys because we just came back from our first event, PAX East. And we took a lot of notes because we wanted to make a list, a list of different tips and tricks to help you guys have a very exciting and productive event at your next convention. Now, we making this video, or I'm making these tips, I mean, I don't claim to be an expert eventee or attendee to these conventions, but I feel very strongly that these tips can be very, very helpful to those going to their very first or even their second or third convention. And we focused this list, not just for content creators, but for anybody that's going to attend their first event and is trying to make this, you know, exciting and wants to experience everything. So guys, step number one is bring a, you guessed it, camera. If you don't know what kind of camera this is or you've never seen it before, this is the Sony A5100. Very popular streaming camera but we use it to go vlogging. This is a great low budget starter option that shoots in 1080 60 FPS and has a pretty decent internal microphone. But to any great low budget camera, there are some cons to it. Namely, do you hear it? The jingling. The jingling with this freaking thing is, was so irritating. Yeah, I wanted to take a freaking pair of pliers and cut these little tags off because I never used them. I set this up on a little tripod. Here it is. This is the tripod. It is, as you can see, a Joby. And it is, well, perfect for this camera. This camera doesn't weigh a lot. You don't need one of those large tripods that people are gonna be slinging over their shoulders. This is just a small, little, compact, perfect tripod that you can hold out with one hand and be able to hold up and record yourself on really in anywhere. No matter how tight the crowds are, I'll show you in the videos that I was able to use this thing and we were all packed tight waiting to step in line into the Expedition Center so that we could go in and film everything. Well, I took a look around and even with this small thing, I was still able to capture pretty much all the crowd. You see it here. So guys, the reason why I like this so much is because I was able to carry it all day. It's light, the camera's not too heavy, it stays attached perfectly, and it was at a perfect angle. I could always readjust the angle if I wanted to. I could always put the camera down, up, around, any which way that I needed to in order to get some good footage. So this is why I really like this specific tripod for it. I really recommend this, it shoots in 1080p, 60 FPS. I don't, I'm not a fan of the jingling. Take the jingling off, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some pliers just to cut these freaking things off. Anyways, first step, bring a camera, please. If you are uncomfortable or you think you suck or, or you're too afraid to vlog in public and you want some great camera footage and some event footage, 
this is the place to do it. These are your people. These are your kinds of people. The people that you want to appeal to as a content creator, these are them. If you don't feel comfortable talking into an inanimate object like this, if you don't feel comfortable talking to an inanimate object and ignoring the 10, 20 people that are walking around you, talking to a camera, talking to your viewers on stream, off stream, in your channels, on your videos, there's no difference. So if you need to get comfortable vlogging, this is what you want to do, this is the place to do it. This is the place to learn how to do it. Get comfortable, get a camera. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Get a tripod, throw it up there. You got nothing to lose, go for it. Now, why bring a camera if you're not a content creator? Because there are so many different things that you're gonna wanna remember. There's so many things that you're gonna end up posting on your social media. Like, new game develops. The thing that you almost bought that was $500, like a set of dice. Like a little plushy toy that was $175. It's a collectible. But you know what? People pay it. That's scary. There's cosplayers. How are you gonna remember how to dress up like the Mandalorian next time you want to? How are you gonna dress up like Skyrim Knight? There are so many different things. Like, what happens when you meet Pokimane at a Twitch convention when you didn't think you were ever, ever gonna do that and then you don't have a camera? Well, it turns out you do. You're probably watching this video on it right now. Guys, an iPhone is beautiful for any kind of camera quality, but you need to make sure that you don't leave it in your pocket. You're gonna want these things. You're gonna wanna be able to remember all of this. The camera shoots spectacularly. The iPhone 10, which we're shooting on right now, this is the internal camera for the iPhone 10. And this is the video quality for the iPhone 10. Shoots in 4K, 60 FPS, even better, than this one. Guys, don't be slouches. Remember to take your camera out, leave it out, put it on a tripod even. Just remember that you have it, remember to use it. You're gonna wanna use the camera to remember all these good things. And guys, if you don't take it out of your pocket, you're gonna feel like such a dope when Pokimane walks by and you didn't have your phone out to take a picture or anything, and then you go, you reach in your pocket and She's gone. Guys, step number two is to plan ahead. Most conventions like PAX East had their very own app on the iPhone, on Android that you could download. It shows you events, it shows you line updates, it shows you panels, it has the full schedule, it even has a full map and floor plan for you guys to look around so you never get lost. You can even plan your route before you even get to the convention center. You guys need to download this app in order to plan ahead to save you time and to get more things done. All these things were built and made for you to have a better time, a better experience. Guys, step number three, wear comfortable clothing. Guys, you're going to be standing in lines. I'm telling you right now. We went to play the Predator game. New game coming out this summer. We're going to be able to get a brand new look at it in March, on weekend in March. We're gonna be trying to get a code to play that game. We'll see how that works out. But guys, we stood in that line for at least an hour and a half, standing. Nowhere to sit, nowhere to, unless you wanted to sit on the floor. Nasty. Guys, get some comfortable clothing. You're gonna be standing there for a long time. You could even bring a lawn chair if you wanted. There were so many people with a lawn chair because they knew they were gonna be standing in line for more than an hour or even two, depending on what you wanted to go see. For me, guys, what I decided to wear, just some simple sneakers, that flat sole, easy to walk in. We were on our feet all day long. You don't want to be walking around in boots or heels or dress shoes. Why would you even wear dress shoes? You're not going to be wanting to walk around in work boots or just in cowboy boots or, or loggers or any kind of little flip flop. You're gonna want to be walking around in a comfortable pair of padded shoes. 
Get yourselves a good pair of sneakers. If you don't already have some, you're going to be walking a lot. Guys, step number four, thing that you will not want to miss out on are the collectibles. Guys, pins, Funkos. If you're a fan of these types of things, this is the place for you. They have anything and everything that you can imagine. I'm talking about $500 dice. I'm talking about like $175 Pikachu plushie doll. I'm talking like $70 Funko dolls that are limited edition, but it's testing on your wallet. That's for sure. Crazy how expensive some of these things get. Ladies and gentlemen, tip number five, visit as many booths as you possibly can. There are so many different areas for you to go and check out different new games, different new like board games, plushie dog collectibles, companies that want your business or your channel. Think about it. Along with this and visiting all these different booths and seeing what these different companies have to offer, I'm not talking about, oh, go to Elgato and say, hey, check out my stream, I've got 300 subscribers. I'm talking about going to as many booths as possible. You can bring business cards, and these don't have to be cards for your business, and you don't have to be a content creator in order to have a business card. It doesn't even have to be a business card. You wanna call it something else? It's an ID card. It is a card with information for another content creator or another gamer like yourself to find you on social media, an easy thing for you to just give them. No, it's not a business card. No, 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 don't get that idea. It's just my gamer tag. Here, take that. You wanna add me, add me. And if that's easier, which it is easier to give them that instead of trying to pull out your phone, hey, uh, so add me on PlayStation, oh, I don't play PlayStation, oh, add me on Steam, I don't have Steam, you're on Xbox, I'm on Xbox. Just give them your card, man. It's so much easier. They're gonna find you on Twitter, they're gonna find you on Instagram, they're gonna find you on YouTube, they're gonna find you on Twitch. Wherever it is, they're gonna be able to find you. And this doesn't have to be for just content creators, this is for anybody. They charge six cents to make these at Staples or Office Depot. It's not a lot. Go to paint shop, use paint, go to paint.net, whatever it is, and make yourself a little text to make sure that you guys have something. Guys, if you already haven't seen where I'm at on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, obviously, if you're here, you know that I'm on YouTube. Up here in the top right, I'm gonna put the graphics that I have for my business card. It's something real, real simple. Simple logo that's faded in the background. Put all my socials on there. On the background, I got one of the QR codes so that it'll instantly go to my YouTube channel. But guys, it doesn't have to be even that complex. You guys can have something simple your name, your gamer tag, your Twitter. That's it, that's all you need. You need some, a way to contact the person on social medias, whatever you use the most, or whatever it is that you guys use to make content, whether it's YouTube or whether it's your Twitch. But as for my content creators, you guys should have everything on there. If you guys are serious about making content, making videos to help out this community, just like what we're trying to do here, or even on your Twitch, put it on a card it's not difficult, make a hundred of them. I promise you will not pass out a hundred. You don't have the time. Guys, I was racing through a bunch of different booths. I'd have been lucky if I gave out 65. This was my first event, feeling overwhelmed, just like I'm sure you will if this is your first event, and I'm sure you did if you can remember your first event. Put it on a card. If you're trying to get your name out there, I mean, like, this is where you need to do it. Pass out some cards. It's, it's not hard. You know it's not hard. Don't make it harder on yourself. What happens if a company says, hey, you know, you seem really interested in our product or different things. What if we wanted to send you something? Oh, well, you gotta look up my Twitch or whatever. Do you have a card like with an email or different things that, you know, piece of information? How dumb would you look if you grab a, a notebook or you ask them for, for a notebook and you go and you rip out a page and you're, here you go. Guys, don't do that. Don't, don't do it. It's not needed. Take the small step and go and get yourself 
some cards. My last and final tip, if this is your first event, you've never been to a TwitchCon, you've never been to a Comic-Con, you've never been to an AnimeCon, or you've never been to a PAX, you've never been to a convention, you are going to be overwhelmed, especially if you go by yourself. If you can, go with some friends, at least a friend. If you go by yourself, you're gonna be overwhelmed. Just like I was overwhelmed, and just like the character next to me when I was filming, he seemed a little overwhelmed as soon as he saw the camera on him, what did he do? Don't get overwhelmed. It's very easy to get overwhelmed, and it's very easy for me to say, don't get overwhelmed. But you guys, I was overwhelmed. At first, until I got to know some good people, like my friend over here in the orange hat. He was able to teach me and show me a bunch of different things based on photography, videography. It turns out that he was there for business. He taught me a lot. But you know what? I never would have known if I never said, hi, how are you? What's your name? What are you doing here? Crack a joke, break the ice. Doesn't matter who it's with. You know what? We walked around for quite a while for almost the entire convention. Meet a friend or bring a friend with you. If it's both of your first event, don't get all wrong. Focus, remember, you're there to have fun. Go around to some booths, talk to some people, let loose a little bit and open yourselves up. You're gonna get overwhelmed. There's too much there to, to take in on your very first time. There is too much. I wish I could have done 10 times the amount of things that I was able to do. We only went for a day and this is how it went. We showed up at about 8.30. We waited till about mm, 10 o'clock in lines to get into the exhibit center. After that, there was it was full of booths, lines, food, cosplay. A lot of it. Honestly, I felt at home. This is my first time ever coming to a gaming convention and honestly, I didn't know what to expect, but it was truly incredible. So guys, please don't forget you're there to have fun. You're there, some may be there for business. I was there for fun and business and to attend my very first event ever. Do yourselves a favor and remember, plan ahead on all the different things you may wanna see and then just kinda go with it. You may not hit everything, but you may hit more than what you expected. Go there, focus on having some fun. Guys, don't forget to leave a comment and like if you guys learned something and you guys got some good tips on your first event. And if there are any veterans watching this, we would appreciate your comments, especially to see if we missed anything that you would like to include if you were going to your very first convention again and what you would tell yourself. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Check out the links down in the description below. We'll see you next time. He just went in the door. And shit. Oh, we're coming to hurt. Tux has three up. kills with 12 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you serious? I, I wondered who would notice first.